Well, hello guys. We are gonna test right now um, Wise Thin Client or Terminal, however you want to call it. This time we are testing the model uh, CX0 or uh, the long name is C10LE. This one uh, has a one gig. Uh, 1 gigahertz uh, CPU, 128 flash uh, drive, and 512 uh, megabyte RAM. What we're going to do is we're going to test it real quick, just to see uh, how it powers on, how it boots, and also we're going to show how to reset it to factory settings. It's uh, really uh, a process very fast and very easy. Let's go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug all the cables that we need. In this case, uh, we're doing first the video cable. This goes on the DVI port on the back of the uh, thin client. And then we have a PS2 keyboard and PS2 mouse uh, cables. And the last thing we do is um, the power cord, which is an AC adapter. With this, all with all these cables plugged in, you will see that there's a, uh, there might come uh, on a light on the front, or if not, you just push the power button and then it will start uh, powering on and it will boot to the OS. Okay, let's do that. Well, now uh, we have here the screen that we're using to test the terminal and as you can see it uh, the OS already uh, loaded and uh, the next thing we, we have to do is we need to go to the taskbar on the bottom and it, we can click on the desktop button and to reset it to factory settings you just do uh, the shutdown option and the shutdown will give you the uh, the option of restart the system. We're going to restart the system, and also we need to check this checkbox that says reset the system setting to factory default. Uh, we check that box, and then we just click OK, and it will be really fast. It won't take uh, even a minute. It's just a matter of seconds. There we go. And that's it. That's all you need to do to reset everything to factory settings on the WISE CXO terminal.